The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. At that time, Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, you may go. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. When the man was on his way back, his slaves met him and told him that his boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time, Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. <clears throat> the Gospel of the Lord. Jesus loved performing miracles and healings, not for show, not to be admired. He did this because he loved. He saw the suffering of the people, and his heart was moved with pity so many times. He also did these signs and wonders to point to something greater, the kingdom of God, a reality that will last forever. All the people he healed in the gospel that we hear about eventually got sick again and died. So what would be the point of the miracles if it didn't lead a point to something greater, a more important reality? As Jesus went about preaching and teaching, proclaiming, healing, expelling demons, performing miracles, what struck Jesus the most was faith. When he saw the faith of the people, he was so impressed when he came across people with great faith. We hear it many times. Never have I seen so much faith. And so Jesus continues to walk with us, and his heart is moved with compassion to our sufferings in our circumstances today. Sometimes miracles and healing, they continue to happen today. We may not hear about them as much, but they, they happen every day. And sometimes we wish for them and they don't happen. All this happened the same in Jesus' day. Some people experienced miracles, healings, other people did not. But most importantly, Jesus is looking for people of faith. Our time on earth is very short. The oldest person in the world, I looked it up, the oldest person in the world is 119, a woman from Japan. The oldest Catholic in the world is a religious sister who is 118 years old. But in the big picture, their life is still very short in the big picture of the world. What we need is the gift of faith faith in Jesus because of who he is and not based on whether we think he's helping us or not. 
with faith and asking for the gift of faith, we will see he is always with us and he answers more than what we realize. Listen to the words of advice given by St. Francis de Sales to someone who is having a crisis of faith. Do not look forward in fear to the changes in life. Rather, look to them with full hope that as they arise, God, whose very own you are, will lead you safely through all things. And when you cannot stand it, God will carry you in his arms. Do not fear what may happen tomorrow. The same everlasting Father who cared for you today will take care of you then and every day. He will either shield you from suffering or will give you unfailing strength to handle it. Be at peace and put aside all anxious thoughts and imaginations. Regina Jenny, let her rest.